Hello, and welcome to the watering hole. Thanks for checking out this clip. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that'll make the baby Jesus cry. And I know how much you guys love making the baby Jesus cry. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's get on to some cool science stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm gonna pull it up myself so I can read it with you. All right. So um, scientists have figured out why childbirth became so complex and dangerous. And <laughs> As usual, the headline's overstating it a bit. Scientists have developed a have more evidence for uh, a hypothesis that kind of went against the consensus. Is right would be a more accurate headline, but that's not that's kind of not boring. quite as catchy. <laughs> All right, so it's so a standard standard idea of why childbirth sucks for us is because of the big brains. So, um, like the baby. I mean, I feel like big brains aren't the problem for most people but anyway carry on. <laughs> yeah no it's just like that's most yeah, yeah most yeah. animals they give birth like a deer gives birth the baby deer stands up and walks around within minutes right like stuff like that is whereas we give birth and our kid needs to like cling to us for two years before they're ready to do anything by themselves um, <laughs> that's and that's because we need to give birth early well we i don't i don't have the capacity to do that but People need to give birth early so that the the head doesn't kill them on the way out. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise it would just be too big. And so um, what the study has found is that uh, there is evidence that that's not the case. Something about walking upright would have complicated the birthing process before and, and made, um, so like in, in this case, they looked at um, Australopithecus afarensis, uh, Lucy, and, um, and they found that... Um, with the like they, they did 3d simulations of like different size heads passing through the pelvis right. yeah, and yeah. the one that worked best would have been too small for the functions that uh that the australopithecine would have needed to wait work on their own so you're telling me that it's not because eve ate a piece of fruit was eve and australopithecus well, I guess I'm going to have to go change my entire world, you know. I thought it was because women bad, therefore pain. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, this, that's kind of one of the reasons I picked this article, because it, it really highlights some of the problems with um, with the design of the uh, birthing system. So the fetus normally navigates a narrow, convoluted birth canal by bending and turning its head at different phases during a human delivery. And this complicated procedure has significant risk of birth complications, which may range from extended labor to stillbirth or mat... Uh, mat don't know why I'm tripping over that. It's not a hard word. Maternal death. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so th these issues are have been thought in the past to be like the outcome of conflict between make the brains bigger and make them walk upright because it, it it's easier to give birth if you're not walking upright yeah i mean that's sorry whenever i read these articles i just i know this is probably not the direction you were going in so apologies but like i imagine christians reading them and their head just like exploding um or being like because if I would have read this when I was religious, it would have been like devil propaganda um, where like, you know, the evidence is planted by the devil to deceive us. Um, and so like reading about it, it's just so, it, yeah, sorry. I know that's not the no, 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 trying this to is, go in, but it's just. I actually had similar thoughts. I was actually like kind of picturing how Matt Powell would respond to this article. And I'm picturing him seeing like these three pelvises here and being like, oh, they don't actually have any evidence for it. They just simulated a fake baby that didn't exist. And, you know, they found the one that they liked the best. And that's the one. They just like ran some stuff until it did something that they like. And then they just did that because I don't understand science. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's. Yeah. The, no, that that so absolutely like, entered my head while I was reading this. It's just. Yeah. It, it like. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so, the further away I've gotten from my religious upbringing, which has been like over a decade now, the more I'm just like, how do grown adults with all of this information at their fingertips yeah. rationalize away? Sorry, the cat just like, like squatted on my arm for a second. <laughs> <laughs> how do they rationalize away like scientific evidence 
And the way that they do it, which I can hardly call rational, is by saying that, like, no, Satan, king of the underworld, is out here trying to trick us into believing in science so that instead and so that we don't believe in the very true and logical story that uh god created a man and a woman and somehow they populated the earth okay yeah. interesting like <laughs> sorry no don't apologize that's 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 what we're here for to kind of go off the rails and yeah it just blows my mind, right? And that's and the thing the other thing that kind of like frustrates me is that even though I left religion a long time ago, the the deficit of my scientific knowledge has not like gone away because I went to a Christian school whose evidence against evolution, I wish I was joking. The evidence that they presented against evolution, prepare yourself, hold on to your butts. Was that it's still a theory? Not even that. It's worse. The Loch Ness monster exists. Oh God! They oh, okay. They, I know where they're getting that from. There's only there's only a handful of creationists that still talk about that shit. Yeah. Um, and they they fly in here apparently. Um, that that was it. That was the entirety of their argument against evolution. Um, was that well the Loch Ness monster exists she's or he i guess i don't know is a dinosaur that hasn't like evolved so clearly evolution false and there's like that's when you blow their mind like hey you know an ichthyosaur is not a dinosaur right they don't they don't even know that word like that they don't know that word i would bet dollars to donuts if you picked a random sampling of 100 christians they would have no idea what that is um and i think like it doesn't surprise me that Christians just believe this because I mean, like, they think a talking donkey happened. Um, but like, I think it's egregious that anybody is allowed to teach this shit. Um, because then kids grow up and even if they get out of it, like, obviously I don't think, like, I know, I believe evolution is true, Yeah. but like, I didn't get any actual, like, education in that right everything that i know now which is still limited i've learned from things i've read or people on the internet or whatever not people on the internet like actual scientists on the internet (laughs) um yeah but like sometimes it feels like this like really futile like a futile task because even if you present christians with articles like this um they're not first of all they're not going to understand them Second of all, they're going to just be like, well, no, that's just like devil propaganda. Now, um, if I could just push back for just slightly on your use of the word Christian, um, just just the caveat that like, I I think we're both aware that there are intelligent Christians out there. Not every Christian is a young earth creationist. Yeah. Um, Goodness. That's 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 fair. Yeah. That's that's just one of the things I, I try to do in my videos just to keep them categorize yeah. and like yeah i disagree with the people over at biologos but <laughs> using people who say we like our our mission in life is to make science and the bible compatible um right like that's going to be a more impactful source for young earth creationists than richard dawkins who for i sure. also don't yeah. like <laughs> yeah i don't like him either um i just uh, we've, wasn't we've been, richard I've dawkins been watching... that came out with a bunch of transphobic yeah, nonsense well, recently. which one wasn't it at this point um <laughs> yeah um i i wasn't terribly recently but yeah um i actually i've, I've been watching uh doctor who with the kids and richard dawkins <laughs> has a couple of cameos on there that i forgot about and like he shows up and it's just like oh i got excited oh, the first time i saw that scene <laughs> yeah mm, i guess we all evolve no, yeah. you are right. It certainly isn't all Christians. Um, and I think, like, and this will come to a surprise as literally nobody that's followed me for any amount of time. I know that it's not all Christians. Um, yeah. There are certainly smart Christians, and there are Christians that don't believe in in certain ways. Um, I, I figured you did. I just wanted to make it explicit. <laughs> yeah, so definitely that. I also think... I've given up on parsing um, personally because 
it then allows for a lot of people to say like, well, I'm not one of those Christians and that's fine. Maybe you aren't one of those Christians, You're, but what it's are the like other 40,000 denominations, thing to me, right? Like, cool, great. Yeah. Awesome. But like, maybe st you need to deal with your own because like yeah, othering yourself is not helpful. That's fair. I, I have been tempted to be like, I'm not that kind of man in the past, but then it's like, eh, so, okay. We're completely off topic here, but just to yeah, tell, sorry. just, no, 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 that's fine. Um, just to tell, tell a story. So, um, shortly after my wife died i was finding myself like very very lonely but not like wanting a romantic relationship right so i had this moment where i was like i'll bet you someone's developed an app that's like tinder but just for people who want to cuddle but not have a relationship oh yeah so i looked into it absolutely people have developed that app and guess what happened it got ruined by men i'm shocked because men I'm would shocked. sign up for that they'd do the cuddle thing and they'd no, grab they... a butt or something while they were doing it. It's like, come on guys, get it together. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really uh, sorry about your loss. That's awful. Unimaginable. Yeah. Thanks. Um, um yeah, yeah. I don't bring it up to like bring the mood down. That. It's just, uh, no. So and again, this is again, not exactly the same, but like when I was in my early twenties, my partner at the time killed themselves. Ooh. Um, and so like, yeah, I know about bringing the mood down, but I also know, and this was not the same as losing a like long-term partner necessarily, but anyway, yeah. yeah. But it's oh. fine. We can pick the mood back up because I have so many people to roast because I saw the tweets. So <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Um, I actually, my kids are gone tonight. So normally I have to end it at 10 because that's usually when my daughter comes down for her emergency cuddles. She, she usually around 10 every night because she misses her mother. She'll come downstairs and we'll cuddle up and have a little conversation. And actually, I know we are way off topic now, but um, that's that's one of the harms of religion. So I haven't raised her religious. She is aware right. of the religion, but she, she does not believe it. I do not believe right. it. I have not told her not to believe it. Um, yeah, but make her own choices. after her mother died, there have been some times when she has like been on the verge of a panic attack because some people believe that hell is a real place. And what if mama's there? And religion is supposed, like, this is supposed to be the one thing that religion is really, really good at, is comforting people in a moment of loss. And it, she doesn't even believe it, and it has her terrified sometimes. Yeah. I don't, I don't blame her. It also makes me so furious. Uh, it, it just makes me furious. Like, nobody, it's hard enough to think that if someone passes away that there's nothing. Um, and I'm listen, I'm just an average human being. I have no idea what happens after we die. Anything could happen, right? Um, but the fact that people are so, a group of people are so hell-bent on this and that it's infiltrated so much of our sort of culture that it's sort of gotten into this psyche of people who don't even believe it yeah. just makes me furious. Like loss is hard enough, especially of a parent or a partner. It should not be made exponentially harder by folks who don't even know their own goddamn book. Huh? Yeah. Like, oh, hell exists. Tell me about it in the Old Testament. I'll wait. All right. Yeah, no. Anyway, back to the pelvises. Uh, yes. They found, so they did three simulations with three different size heads. They found that only a 110 gram fetal head size pass through, passes through the pelvic inlet and midplane without difficulty, unlike the 180 and 145 gram sizes, which means that the Australopithecus newborns were neurologically immature and dependent on help similar to human babies today. But the Australopithecines did not have the big brains. They hadn't evolved that yet. So right. this means that our messed up birth stuff happened before the big brain stuff happened. So let's be done with that article. Let's move on. 